section. Roll with my protection. Who gon' die next? Ain't tryna get elected. Riding by myself. Time for some reflection. Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Kyle. Welcome back to another video. Um, this is gonna be a quick video. This is just gonna be my thought on the whole R. Kelly thing that everybody's talking about. Um, I haven't seen the show or the episode or anything. Um, but I keep hearing a lot of things about it because people love posting it on social media and Instagram. So, my input on this whole thing, um, I don't know, like, they're trying to make him look bad, like, I'm not saying that I agreed for whatever he did or whatever he's doing whatsoever, I'm not saying I agreed with it, but I'm just saying, like, people are trying to expose him, like, to the point where they want him basically in jail if not dead so it's like why are you trying to like expose him now if everyone been knew that he's been doing on this since when he peed on the 14 year old girl and it's like you guys are now trying to realize oh what he's doing and it's like even if he said it in his songs at the end of the day, people are still going to listen to it because it's R. Kelly. Like, his music is good. But, I don't know. Like, I feel like, like, even in, I don't know if anybody's seen Boondocks. But even on that episode, like, they said the whole, they, they explained the whole thing. It's like, people still didn't, like, realize it. What the hell is wrong with you people? Every famous nigga that gets arrested is not Nelson Mandela? Yes, the government conspires to put a lot of innocent black men in jail on fallacious charges. But R. Kelly is not one of those men. We all know the nigga can sing. But what happened to standards? What happened to bare minimums? You a fan of R. Kelly? You want to help R. Kelly? Then get some counseling for R. Kelly. Introduce him to some older women. Hide his camcorder. But don't pretend like the man is a hero. And Boonox is a TV show. What? Yeah, a cartoon. So, to think that, you know, you would have thought people would have realized, but not even a cartoon people would realize. And now people are, like, showing it about what Boondocks was saying the whole time with R. Kelly in that situation. But it's like, um, it's like they're trying to explode R. Kelly to the point where it's like, oh, people are now realizing that it's wrong. But you gotta think about, like, there's people out there who's worse than R. Kelly, and I don't see people, like, doing it this bad compared to him. And that's the same thing with, like, the situation with Bill Cosby. Like, Bill Cosby, whatever Bill Cosby did, that was, like, what, 30-something years ago, maybe? And now they want to, all the girls supposedly he did they all now want to come out so it's like why do you why are you waiting this long just to say something about it when you could have been said something about it the first time it happened and that's what people are not getting and it's like all the the females that escaped why are you saying something about it now and it's like you gotta think about it. You can't only like be mad at R. Kelly, but you gotta be mad at, like the the girl's parents too, because if you know that your daughter is going and seeing a grown ass man, why are you okay with your daughter like just being fine with it, just staying by him or whatsoever? Why? Because it's R. Kelly, so you think that by your daughter staying by him, that you're gonna get money from him too? Nope. Not at all. And it's like, if if the parents know that it's their young daughter, right, if it's like, what, 15, 16, 17, whatever the age is, how are you okay with your daughter to just stay by a grown-ass man that's probably the same age as you? 
so it was like, what sense did he even make it? So it was like, everyone is like, trying to throw shade at him, but yet, you're not gonna do anything, you're not even gonna say anything about the parents being okay with it or whatsoever. So it was like, oh, it's okay for the parents, but it's not, it's okay for the parents to let their child stay with a grown ass man, but you guys are trying to attack R. Kelly at the same time, cause for what he's doing. But like I said, I don't know what really happened in Lifetime for the whole documentary or whatever about him. All I'm saying is that that not everybody should be going after him. They should be going after the parents too and other things and actually sit down and be like, why is that person who was with him or whatever saying something now? when they could have been said it and yeah but that's just my quick thing about my thought about the whole R. Kelly thing like I said in the beginning I'm not saying that it's cool for him to do that or anything I'm not saying I'm on the side or whatever but I'm just saying like it's a thought it's a thoughtful thing you gotta think about like the whole situation of what's really going down and yeah so that's just my quick thought but um i'll catch you guys in the next video so yeah but uh, um hit that like button subscribe to your boy uh follow my instagram if you guys want your own forest hell merch links will be in the description for that uh message me on instagram i got men's and women's clothes hoodies, long sleeves, t-shirts, you name it, you got it. So until then, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. For the bad and bougie, been on flame. They say they love the sound, don't know the group name. I'm thinking I'm going to buy my bitch a burger.